All right, all right, all right. It's the Man in Black. One of the other main characters in the Dark Tower series is the Man in Black. The rival, the enemy, the evil guy that the gunslinger is chasing all over creation. It doesn't make a lot of sense to do a tribute to the Dark Tower without doing something Man in Black, so we're gonna make a Man in Black cocktail. Funny thing about this, when we made the drink and we were experimenting with it, we found a drink we really, really liked. And then the more we were tasting, it's like, this doesn't sound like a Man in Black drink. It doesn't taste like I would think. I expect a certain strength and bitterness or something in a Man in Black drink. This drink tastes like pretty butterflies. Not quite what we're looking for. So we took that base recipe, made a couple of changes, and turned it into something really cool. The first thing we're throwing in here is a London Dry Gin. Wanted a London Dry because with everything else writing in here, we needed a gin that's really gonna push forward and be in the middle of everything. If we did a new style or an old Tom, it would really get muddy and I didn't want that. I wanted something bright and sharp that would stand out. London Dry is great for that. We decided on a beef eater because it is really hot and really forward on the tongue. The other thing we wanted to try was a Velvet Falernum. I actually love this mixer. I haven't really been able to use it a lot because a lot of times we're making these in streams where we're with someone who has an allergy to tree nuts and this has almond in it, so we can't use it. They weren't in the stream, so we got to play around and I'm really glad we did. It adds a lot to this cocktail. The secret ingredient, the thing that made this come alive for us is the famous grouse Smoky Black. This is a blended scotch. It's got a smoky flavor to it. We've used it in the past. To me, it almost feels like a mezcal. It's not an overpowering smokiness like a lot of really peated whiskeys, but it does give a little bit of darkness and a little bit of depth that you might be missing. And then there's a secret ingredient I'll get into in a minute, but let's go ahead and start mixing this stuff together and make an actual cocktail because that's what we do here. We are going to throw in this beef feeder, beef feeder. We're gonna throw in some beef feeder today, y'all. Y'all, we got us some beef feeder here. We're gonna put in about two ounces of beef feeder. That's right, two ounces of beef feeder. It's gin. It's a London dry gin. Then we are gonna throw in one ounce of this falernum. I really do love this stuff. It's just got a great flavor. If you haven't tried it, give it a shot. Sometimes I think it feels like a winter kind of mixer for any type of warm drinks you wanna make in the winter that are gonna be warm. It'd be perfect for that, but it's great in this as well and you can use it in a million things. It works really well with gin all the time. And now we're throwing in the Smoky Black, the famous grouse Smoky Black. This really is a nice scotch. It is a blended scotch. Let me show you what this drink looks like. It's not very intimidating. It's just, a, it's just a light little looking, hey, look, uh, it's not intimidating. The man in black should be intimidating. We realized that and that's when I had the idea to uh, play around with something new and exciting in the cocktail world. What is this new and exciting thing that you're gonna play around with, Mark? I'm gonna play around with activated charcoal. What? Charcoal, like when you're grilling? Exactly, go out to your grill and don't do that. Don't, don't actually do that. Whenever you get your vitamins, look around for activated charcoal and they'll sell that there. You can open up one of those capsules, get out the charcoal, and just dump a little in there. Not a lot. It does not take a lot at all. A few things, if you use too much, the texture of your drink's really gonna change. It's gonna be gritty, it's gonna be thicker than what you're gonna want. Don't put a lot in there. The other thing is don't put a lot in there and if you're on medications, keep in mind, the activated charcoal does absorb medications. So if you're drinking this right after taking any of your meds, your meds aren't gonna work. That includes birth control, just FYI, I'm just saying. When we put all this together, put it back in a mixing thing, so I'm not gonna mix in this. I've tried mixing in this, goes everywhere. Can't, can't do it, can't do it. Check it up. Feels about right. Let's go with that. Throw some ice in there, boom. Still gonna double strain it because little ice chips in your drink are stupid. Don't let it happen to you. Double strain it. What? What? Look at that inky blacky goodness. Oh. Now that's a drink that says man in black. Here's the great thing about the activated charcoal. It doesn't have a flavor. You're not adding a flavor in here. I will say if you add a ton, you'll probably be able to taste it. But with the small amount we're putting in here, you're not adding a flavor. All you're doing is coloring it. And oh. Oh. it's 
great. That is great. Oh, I love that. That is so good. A year ago, I would have never thought putting scotch and gin together in a drink. And this is great. This is a great, great drink. You wanna do something even better? Get you some absinthe. Spray some absinthe on there. Gives it that cool kind of like anisiness to it. So the first thing you get is that smell of licorice. Oh, it's even better. Oh, I love that drink. Great drink. Oh, I'm fine. There are other ways you can get black into a drink. You can use squid ink. I will say if you use squid ink, it is gonna add some flavor. You are gonna have a little bit of a fishiness in there. Deal with that. Or you can get some activated charcoal. You don't have to worry about it. You just have this great drink. Oh my God, it's so good. Keep in mind, you don't have to use the absinthe. You don't have to use the charcoal. It's a great drink without the charcoal. It just makes it man in black because we're doing the Dark Tower, you know. Give this drink a shot, let me know what you think. I would be really curious what this would be like with another smoky liquor. Like, what would it be like with a Mezcal? That would be really interesting to try. We didn't get a chance to try it the other night because we fell in love with the smoky black. We're like, we're done, we're out. I really think you guys should use absinthe with this if you can. That anise, that first whiff of it, it really does bring this drink up a notch. I've used absinthe in other drinks and I do like the way it works. I can't express enough how much better this drink is with the absinthe. It makes a big difference. Give it a shot if you can. Still a great drink if you don't, but just give it a shot. By the way, we do a live stream once a month where we make these cocktails. You should really come and hang out next time so you can be a part of the cocktail making process. It's a lot of fun. We sit around, we experiment for four hours coming up with awesome stuff like this. You should be a part of it. If you like this recipe and you wanna see more, guess what? I have videos there. You can watch other videos of me making cocktails and stuff and you can learn how to do that as well. You can also subscribe right down there. So whenever I make another video, you can see it in your feed and be like, hey, I learned how to make something new today. You should do that.